I just happened to come across him in the cavern underneath Alve's desert. I didn't know him that well. So you're old man Bal's grandchild. Yes, but I haven't seen him for the past few years. It's because he doesn't love you. He said he was looking for something very important, and he left by himself. I'm so sad. My father was captured by Solaris, and his whereabouts are not known either. Don't, don't nod and wink at the camera. But the crazy old your grandpa looked just fine. He's the kind that never dies. Don't worry, squirt. I'm not a squirt. Besides, my grandpa isn't a crazy old man. I know it. Sure, sure, of course not. Sorry, don't get mad, squirt Maria. I didn't mean... I didn't meant to offend. I apologize. Sorry, sorry. I heard you say sorry once already. You don't need to say it again. You're a dick, Bart. Anyhow, Quen's Queen's wow, Quen Queen Zephyr is waiting. Please go ahead and take the elevator to go upstairs. I still have to finish inspecting Zen. My German is not good. I'll show you the way to the palace when the time comes. Till then, please take a look around town. I'll see you later. Yeah, my German is not up to par, which sucks because Xenogears and Xenosaga both use extensive amounts of German and ugh, just I, I just can't pronounce the things all the time. Let's go up there. The Cursed Land. Shavat. The answer's gotta be here. Okay. Let's bring twenty to thirty of those gears that kid was riding on home. Sweet. That's a plan. I I Hold on for one second. Alright, sorry about that. Let's can I do anything down here? It is it is very quiet. Um Okay. There we go. Noise. Thank you. Oh. Oh, this is this is where the gear is stationed? They say the fight between you and Sibzen was well matched. Amazing. There are still people from the surface that can do all that? No sweat. If we all work together, we can teach Lars a thing or two. Maybe. What's up, Maria? The Cybzen was developed by my father at the Research Institute in Solaris. I just turned five years old at that time and had no clue what was happening. Using me as a hostage, they forced my father to continue the research. But he never showed his pain or sorrow in front of me. He always smiled and said, Don't worry, Maria. Sibzen won't be by your side to protect you. Five years ago that day, when I fell behind in our escape, my father protected me and ended up being left behind. My father's voice, his smiles, are leaving me. They are far away, becoming obscure. I believed this would never happen. I swore I'd never forget. Now, the only connection between my father and me is this side set. But, I'll save my father someday. I'll bring back my father's smile. Sibzen and I will do it, I swear! I swear! Sorry. Shouldn't have told you such a bizarre story. It has nothing to do with you. And she's ten! She's just... She's freaking ten! Well, talking about servicing, it's not like we know everything about Sibzen. Realistically, all we can do is check for abnormalities and do simple repairs. Don't worry, I'll also take a look at your gears later. Thanks, after telling me, yeah, we don't know what you're doing. I'll take a look at your stuff, though. But this is such a monster. Maria's father designed something really extraordinary. I hear he's a Solaris scientist, but I still respect him. He proved to me that he, a genius really exists. Yes, a genius does exist. Can I go up and talk to that dude? No. I think that's all we can do here. 
So let's head back over here. Now yeah, there's suddenly sound in this room. I don't know what was going on before. Okay, so did you hear that? Ting. Let's go up. Do you want to go up? Yes, I do. Since this is pretty much the only other way. This is very advanced technology. Okay, um... Awesome. So this is the only other place we can go to. Uh, unless the statue wants to talk to me. Apparently the statue wants to talk to me? I was kind of joking. But pressing X near the statue... Definitely did something. Definitely did something. I think it just took me to the to the other destination, which is Afal Aura, the capital city of Shavat. Yes, I am from the outside. Maria isn't with me. Um what? Do you guys see what I see in the corner over there on the left? Just saying. Just saying. Oh my god, there's another one! I don't think I'm gonna like this city. But apparently we have to go get Maria, even though I talked to her. Can I go... Maybe, maybe this is where I need to go? And they just won't let me go inside the statue or whatever yet? Yeah, apparently that was it. We can't go that way, so this is pretty much the only way we can go. What's up, Baldi? Right, of course. Awful aura. Yes. Very... Very nice. How much? The city used to be the capital of Shavat, an independent liberal country that fought against Solaris. A place that turns yesterday's tears and tomorrow's smiles. That's what they called this city a long time ago. But now, those hopes and despairs have been worn away long ago. Probably the only thing that only things that remain are the echoes of resentment. You might be able to find something that can solve your troubles and sadness. But fate can be cruel sometimes. Don't forget that. And that stone plate floating there is called a stepping stone. It moves with people on it. Try and get on it and talk to the stone. She'll be glad to give the three of you a ride. What? What do you mean go down? Oh, I'll give it a shot. Am I gonna like it down here? Nothing too bad. Okay, so just a save point there. I don't really need to use it because I'm inside a city, but Thanks for thanks for giving me that. There is a Donkey Man, Camel Man. I have not decided. I think I'm going to go with Donkey Man. That large wide statue of an angel at the entrance. Stop laughing. Is a representation of a particular woman who sacrificed herself in that war 500 years ago. Stop laughing. So sad. She was probably the beloved heroine of the rebellion back then. No, seriously. Who is laughing? Stop it. I have not met with Queen Zephyr. A very nice person she is. Thank you, Yoda. We are all able to live like this because the Queen saved us. Of course, of course. Freaking douche over there won't stop laughing. I am the one and only hope for Shavat. I am the secret agent man. In other words, I am a spy. Okay. Ain't I cool? Come to think of it, if you're here too, you guys are probably no different than me. Sigh. Okay. Seriously, what the hell are you are you doing? Apparently he's not laughing. He's doing exercises. He's working out, okay? I'm gonna kick Solaris's butt. Of of course, dude. Of course. Whatever you say. You've got to get pumped up. You should talk to Hans and Franz about that. They might be able to help you out. 
It's all over for them, of course. My last death blow skill. If I only had my Cyrus Punch! You just leave it to me. Take a nap or something. Then he just laughs. And then he continues on. I'll give you a hint. Spoiler alert. Cyrus here uh, never joins your party. So uh, you can go ahead and ignore whatever he says. I haven't seen you before. Are you new? Let's get that guy off our screen. Welcome to the Shavat Liberation Barracks. In actuality, we aren't as glorious as the name may suggest. But it is true that this is the barracks for the anti-Solaris troops. Think of this as home and relax. Okay. It's another freaking donkey camel dude. But we're in an odd situation. That's a strange way to start a conversation. We're picking a fight with an organization that has the power to manipulate the world from the shadows. And to think we're all just a motley crew of riders from the land below. Which one of you is Tommy Lee? We're just a bunch of people who've lived most of our lives without knowing the existence of Shavant or Solaris. Come to think of it, it almost sounds like a joke. Okay.